The next problem under IRR, in the previous IRR we have done only one project was there. Here in this problem we have two projects. How to select a project when there is more than one and how to select which one is good we are going to work here. We have this problem project X and project Y and cash outflows are different. So cash outflows for project X is 11,000, project Y is 10,000. Then there are four years cash inflows have been given. Using IRR method suggest which project is preferable. So which is the preferable one they have asked. So let me get into the first one for project X before selecting the uh, this one uh, percentage of the PV factor. Let me write the cash inflows first for first four years. Six thousand, two thousand. 1000, 5000. Here also the cash inflow is same as uh, modern methods after tax, before depreciation. But in this problem they have not mentioned anything. Uh, whatever the cash flow I have written as it is. Now I have to select two or three percentages of PV factor. For that I am getting to the PV factor and PV factor the formula. The original investment for X is uh, 10,000 and Average cash inflow, if you add all the 4 divided by 4, you get an average. If you, if you add everything, you are going to get 14,000. 14,000 divided by 4, you are going to get 3,500. So, at 3,500, you get 3.142, the annuity factor. So, I have told you, you can go through the annuity factor for 4 years, which is the nearest to 3.1. Four two, so I have found that uh, ten and twelve percent is false between. So I will take that here as ten and twelve. But there is no necessity that we have to calculate this. Without calculating, also we can have two or three trial rates of uh, PV factor. Then we can work the problem. One of them we have to ignore. But when you are putting the formula, you can take only A and B, only two trial rates. You can try them ten. But only you can take two trial rates which you have to select and work the problem here. So it is not compulsory without that also you get almost near to the answer. So let me get into the value shown here now. So at 10% PV factors 0 0.909 plus 0 0.9 Then at 12% I will take 892-797-711-635 So I have taken two factors 10% and 1% I will go for calculating the PV of CLs Cash inflow multiplied by PV factor 6000 into PV factor 2000 into PV factor like that 5454-16 52 for second year 751 for third year 3415 for fourth year. If I add, I get 11,272 as total PV of cash inflow. Then less virgin investment. Virgin investment is uh, 11,000 here. So 11,000 here. Virgin investment. Okay, 11,000. So I get 272 positive and I will get it at 12%. So 6000 into P factor at 12%, 2000 into P factor at 12%. So let me
the lower trial rate, higher trial rate, 11,272 and 10,832. Virtual investment go 11,000. So let me substitute the values over here for IR calculation. A is 10%. C is 11,272 Then O is 11,000 B is 10,832 So we will go for simplification So I get here 10 plus 1.2 Similarly for Y also, and then we have to find whichever is uh, higher, that is the good uh, return for the organization. We will continue with the project Y. After working out the IRR for project X, we will go for calculating IRR for project Y. So, project Y also we will try to find the annuity factor. Virtual investment 10,000, average of cash inflow we have to take. So, cash inflows are 1000, 1000, 2000, and 10,000. So, if you add, you are going to get again 14,000. 14,000 divided by 4, you are going to get 3,500. You are going to get 2.857. So, from the table, you are going to find uh, very much nearer to 14%. So I will take here 10 and 14% for calculation. So I can take even uh, uh, 10 and 12. I have taken here 10 and uh, 14. Best for a uh, difference. Otherwise, I can go for 10 and uh, 12 only. So it factors at 10% like earlier. Then we factor at 14 percent. Sometimes both the projects will have the same P factor, something will be different. So that's why I have a different 10 and 14 here. So similarly, again, cash inflow into PV factor will work it out for 10 percent.
So which one to go for? Conclusion for project X, project Y. So here if you see, this was 11.236 percentage. So whichever is higher, we have to go for. So 11 percent is more. So project X is preferred because IRR is more than project Bye.